Wished. Welcome to my YouTube channel History for Kids. Today I am going to cover a very special topic called Aryans. It's a very interesting topic. Today's topic Aryans part 1. It's divided into two parts. Let's move to the next. This is the timeline which I want to show you. I am just starting with the fourth event with each passing lecture. The timeline will be modified and more events will be added. 5000 years of glorious Indian history. Now, we have covered Stone Age in the last session. It happened till 10,000 BC. We have covered Harappa and Mohenjo-daro civilization from 3000 BC to 4000 BC. Then we have covered a very special civilization called Indus Saraswati civilization. And now we are going to cover Aryans. It happened 107, 1750. BC and added in 500 BC. Friends, I'm trying to erase this thing. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. Orient part one. Visitors from across the mountains. This is our first question. It was impossible for anyone to enter India from the natural north because Himalaya, since Himalayas mountain is a natural India's protection boundary. The first to arrive in India were Aryans. They are believed to come from Central Asia in search of fertile land and to grow crops. They came and settled and north as an army to expand their kingdom. They gave kids, women, and did not come once. They came with waves and first settled in land along with river in this. Now I'm going to show you a map. This is Hindu Kush mountains in Afghanistan and they have crossed India. Friends, I'm trying to erase this thing. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. Aryans part one. What else do we know about them? This is our second question. There must be friction between locals and Aryans when they first arrived since Aryans spoke other land. You know, friends, Aryans spoke a other language, but locals and Aryans fought each other. Aryans rode horses and used swords as weapons and might have pushed the locals out of their land. As they went by the locals, who were displayed by Aryans, became friends and started living together. You know, friends, that time they were fighting. Now they are friends. You can see the picture of, of this village. Arvins now settled down in villages and took farming. Let's move to the next Aryans part one. Aryans contribution. This is our third question. Now this is our table. In the left side there are the contributions and the 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 right side there are descriptions. Now let's start the important things which they have contributed. Vedas. See properly where where I am pointing. Aryans have created Vedas and still these are the most important books for India. They are four in number. Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda and Artha Veda. These books contain Hymenus which, which people sang to their gods. Upanishads properly where I am marking Upanishad. 
The meaning of the Vedas is explained in detail in books called Upanishads. I am see where I'm marking. Now it's a language called Sanskrit. We studied this in our school. Sanskrit is the greatest gift the Aryans have given us. The most of current Indian languages are evolved from Sanskrit. Friends, wait, I'm erasing, then we'll go to the next slide. Let's move to the next slide. I'm going to show you some uh, interesting photos. Interesting photo. Now, uh, where, now I'm marking in Upanishad. See properly where I'm marking. This is Upanishad. This was this was Upanishad book. And this is the language called Sanskrit, which Aryans gave to us. Wait, uh, wait friends, I'm erasing. Let's move to the next. Thank you to all of my viewers. We'll come back with Aryans part two soon. Subscribe to my channel. I give going to start a new series called country series soon stay tuned thanks a lot